Hey guys, I'm Ash and welcome to day three of the Solo Travel Bootcamp. So today I'm going to be running you through some great tips to help you meet people and make, meet people and make friends when you're traveling solo. So this is another question that I get asked a lot. Uh, it is something that can be really scary, really daunting, especially when traveling by yourself for the first time. Um, I know even for me, um, you know, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a shy person, um, but I'm probably more introvert than extrovert. And this for me was kind of, uh, yeah, one of my greatest fears when I was getting ready, ready to travel overseas. Um, so a little funny story I have was I remember the first time um, I tried to make friends with someone. Um, so I had just landed in my in my destination. And um, I remember I got to my host hostel. I was scruffy. I was so tired. I looked awful. Um, and honestly, I felt awful. I just wanted to, you know, get to bed or whatever. But um, yeah, I'd arrived there and I was in this hostel and everyone was like, having all this fun, you know, there was already sort of these preformed groups around, they were laughing, um, you know, just looked really relaxed and cool. And then there was me, like, I was just standing there awkward as like, I was like, shit, I'm, I'm all, like a solo traveler. These guys all seem to kind of know each other. Like, what do I do? Um, and then I remember I, yeah, I saw this girl at reception she was just, and she was just checking in, not reception, like the concierge. And she was just checking in. And I was like, oh, cool. Okay. She's alone too. Cool. I'm onto it. Um, and I remember then I started to make my way towards her and I was like, okay, like, come on, Ash, like we can do it. You know, just rip the bandit off, just say hi, like it's going to be all good. And then I got really close to her and I could hear that she had a really strong accent. I was like, oh shit. Like, she obviously spoke English, but I was like, oh my God, man, like, I don't know. Like, I just panicked, to be honest. I just kind of thought, oh shit and freaked out. And I was really close to it. And I remember she then looked at me and I just like, I kind of froze and was like, oh. And um, I remember then I kind of just looked away and pretended like, I had no intention to talk to her and I just kind of quickly bailed and um, I just, I felt so stupid. I was like, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. And yeah, I just quickly ran away and then locked myself in and hid myself in my room <laughs> for a while. And I was like, oh my God, never again, never again. Um, but anyway, and then what I found was then the second time I did it, you know, it was a lot easier. Um, I started to build my confidence and start to have really amazing conversations with other travelers. And what I do find is that you probably have some experiences like that where you think, oh my God, I'm just so socially awkward. Um, but yeah, you, you get more practice, you get more confident, you start to have really deep and amazing conversations with people. And it just, by the end of your trip, you'll realize that it's just actually becomes really natural. Um, so it can be a bit tiring sometimes where, you know, the difference between when you're traveling on your own then versus traveling with someone else is that you are constantly meeting new people, which means that you're always going to be, um, I guess, having surface conversation, you know, that that initial stuff, you know, like, oh, what's your name? Like, where are you from? Oh, what are you, where are you going today? You know, like it's more that surface conversation. Whereas when you're actually know the person you're traveling with, you know, that's where you obviously you can have more deeper, just relaxed conversation. I do think as you travel more and more and you start to meet people and you hang out with them for a few days, obviously that surface conversation then grows and you get deeper and deeper and deeper and you can learn amazing things about people and connect on levels that you never thought um, you would ever connect on. So there's definitely opportunity to develop those deeper conversations as you go. Um, but that is something you do need to get used to is the small talk, you know, and just, yeah, being interested in other people. Um, but really, I think in terms of the scariness of it, uh, I really do feel that the more and more that you practice it, it really does get better. Uh, and sometimes people surprise you. Um, I've definitely had people who I, I know this, this is going to sound awful, um, but you do arrive at your at accommodation and you'd be like, mm, like you kind of pick your people. You might be like, oh, I don't know if this one, I don't think we're going to gel. Like maybe this person over here, I'm going to try them. And sometimes it's actually that person over here that you prejudge, prejudge wrongly, that you end up having so much in 
common with and having the most incredible conversations with. So I guess my biggest suggestion too would be don't prejudge people as well. You know, just be accepting and open to everyone and anyone where you, whether you travel, even people of different ages. I met amazing people. I met this one guy who I still have contact with. He was in his like 50s. And he was just amazing. He was so full of life, had so much wisdom to share. And he's probably one of the most, like, I'm just so grateful that I met him when traveling because he, it just reminded me that travel is for everyone. You know, it doesn't discriminate, Um, you know, just be open, be open to meeting different people. Um, That's my best advice. And, and what I could say to you. Um, I've also actually written an article below, which I'll share within the email on how to meet people and make friends. And I actually outlined some dot point tips um, and step by steps that you, things you can do to actually put yourself in situations to naturally meet people. So, you know, whether it's staying in hostels, whether it's staying, so like dorm accommodation where you will naturally meet other solo travelers or if you're joining group tours or day trips, different things like that, that put you in that situation where, you know, you don't have to be as awkward about putting yourself out there because it happens naturally um, anyway. So yeah. And and one other tip to remember guys as well, um, you're not alone. So when I travel, you know, it's so easy to think, oh my God, like I'm the only solo traveler here, you know, that doesn't, that really happens, but let's say that you thought that, Um, you know, and then, you yeah like you just have to remind yourself that there are like so many of the people that are there with you traveling they're probably having the exact same feelings and fears as you're having you know you might actually make someone's day by just going up to them and saying hi because they might have worse anxiety than you do you know you just don't know um and sometimes by doing so just by having that taking that leap of faith and taking that step and meeting someone you know you can just open the door they might become a travel buddy down the road they might happen to know someone you know or you know the world is an incredibly small place it's it's kind of freaky um but yeah just just put yourself out there like just remind yourself and just ask yourself what have you got to lose by not doing it yeah there might be times where you embarrass yourself a little bit or maybe come across a bit silly but realistically it's all harmless stuff and often the the benefits or like the um the rewards are much greater than the risks so So, yeah um shoot me a message ask me any questions if you'd like to know more than happy to answer and then in tomorrow's lesson i'm going to be talking a little bit more about how to actually pack your backpack in order to save space um, and also to organize it so that when you are traveling around, you don't have to completely unpack and repack your backpack everywhere you go. So I hope you've gained some value out of this lesson. Um, check out the article, shoot me any questions if you have them. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, see you guys.